Ooh, 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 How'd you like to have one of those guys play your next party? Well, making your party unique is always a challenge. Fear not, our next guest can make you the talk of the town. Steve Einzig is the president of BookingEntertainment.com, and he's here to tell us how. So how do I go about booking Bon Jovi for my next thing? Basically, all you have to do is you come to our website, BookingEntertainment.com. You fill out an entertainment request form. An agent will get back to you relatively quickly, and we will find out exactly what your needs are, where you're going to do the party, uh, what we would need to bring in for that specific event, and we'll take care of everything else for you. I might want a musical act. I might want a comedian. I might want Robin Williams to come perform. Mm -hmm. I might want uh, cameos by the cast of The Sopranos. Can you arrange any of those? Absolutely. We could do any comedian, any entertainer, as long as the entertainers are willing to do these types of events, which most of them are. We can take it and drop this into any event anywhere in the world. Who isn't willing among the big acts uh, to do these kinds of things? Off the top of your head. Uh, I mean, Streisand isn't going to do it. Really. I don't know. She might. But a, a Bruce Springsteen <laughs> or an Eric Clapton, they you know, don't like to do these types of things. But for the most part, just about anybody else you know, will. The prices are at a basic, a little bit of a premium, but nevertheless, the artists enjoy it because they don't have to worry about selling tickets, and it's usually a pretty quick set. You take care of everything uh, uh, so long as the, uh, as the facility can accommodate what they need. Correct. Right? And it doesn't necessarily have to be a facility. We've done this in people's backyards. In the Caribbean, we did Bon Jovi, we did Meatloaf, we did Brian Adams for one particular client. We've done this at castles in England. We've done this uh, on the beach in Mexico. Wherever people want to do these things, it's basically up to us and our expertise to make sure that it's handled properly and that we have everything for that specific venue. You did a, a, a famous uh, bar, a bat mitzvah, $10 million, and you had the rap act 50 cent come. Would I be wrong in assuming that 50 cent would cost about uh, a little more than 50 cents to get him there? Uh, yeah, people ask me how much it was. I don't really disclose it, but I always say it was enough to make 50 Cent play a bat mitzvah. If uh, I took 50 and I added, let's say, uh, four more zeros, would that be in the neighborhood? Um, you'd be in the ballpark. I'd be in the ballpark on that. Um, how much should a client expect to pay uh, for a top act? Where does, where does it sort of start and where does it end? And let's say the end point might be the Rolling Stones. If you're talking about a starting point by the time you factor in the production, the flights, and everything else, you're probably looking somewhere in the neighborhood of about fifty to hundred thousand dollars, on up to literally two, three, four, five million dollars. Really, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five million dollars. Now, uh, corporate gigs are another matter. I assume that a lot of these entertainers, whether it's Elton John or or Billy Crystal, uh, would do corporate gigs. Oh, sure, they love to do it because, like I said, it's, they they do pay a premium for those types of engagements. There are some reasons why they wouldn't want to play them so much. The audience isn't their core audience, but usually the money makes all that go away. What's the most unusual request you've had to fulfill? The most unusual, we had a gentleman down in Rosarito, Mexico that was doing an event and we ended up doing Eminem and a number of other big hip-hop stars. And it was a very interesting event because you had an interesting crowd there and it was, uh, the weather wasn't exactly right. So it was, it, was, it was tough, but we pulled it off. Are there any things that you, when a client comes to you, that you'll immediately say, I can't do it or I won't do it? No and no. As long as the artist is willing to do it, we'll take this and put it anywhere in the world for any client. And let's talk about some of the facilities and some of the requests that these acts make. You know, there's a, what is that... Uh, I don't know if it's the smoking gun, but one of the websites, right. uh, you can go on there and you can find out what the uh, rock act or the entertainer uh, insists upon. There are lots of things that I'm sure you take care of that are behind the scenes. Tell me a little bit about some of those most unusual requests. I'd say the most unusual was Donna Summer. We did her for a corporate event down huh. in Baltimore, and she needed to have her entire dressing room covered in white sheets which was kind of interesting because it was a very big room. So we had to run out and buy, I think, 30 king-size sheets and just cover everything and make sure that she was comfortable with the fact that it was covered properly. Well, money is no object. Steve Einzig, thanks very much. Bookingentertainment.com is Correct. the website.